Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Pench, and welcome to Parkitect, which is a very lovely and very charming game all about building your very own theme park. Now, you probably guessed that from the name because, you know, it's called Parkitect. And also, that is a very good pun. And I do like a good pun, and that is a good one. But also, above the logo here, you've got lots of sort of animated park things going on. So just here, there's a roller coaster. That is a terrifying spinny thing. <laughs> no, thank you. Here's another terrifying spinny thing. This is a terrifying spinny thing. It's not spinning right now, but there you go. Let's watch it spin. And yep, terrifying spinny thing number three there. I'm not going on any of those. The thing I'd go on is this. Not terrifying spinny thing, sedate spinny thing. So I'd be on this, you lot can go on that and make yourself sick. I shall be on this, I'll get off and have a lovely cup of tea. That is my theme park experience right there. So Parkitect has been in development for quite a few years. I think at least two years, if not longer. But yesterday, they released into version 1.0 on Steam. They're out of early access. This is the full version of the game. And in the full version of the game, they added the campaign mode, which is what we are going to look at today. Now, previously, it was just a sort of play mode where it was a bit sandboxy, I suppose. You could just go in and just start a park of a particular size and then you just built what you like. Whereas this campaign mode offers actual goals as you go through. So let's just click on that and have a little nosy what's going on. So the campaign is sort of hidden along here. It's under these lovely clouds, which I do like the idea of. You can, you can take little peeks through the clouds and see this looks a bit, that looks sort of deserty almost. Little deserty bits. That looks like a tropical island kind of thing. Maybe there's pirate, sort of pirate bay over that way or something. But we have to come all the way back here to the start. Uh, this here, uh, Loopy Lagoon, that is just a tutorial level saying this is how to rotate things and place things and how it sort of works. We're not going to do that because that's, you know, I've done that already and it's not really that interesting. The, the parks have already built for you. So we are going to start here on Maple Meadows, a large clearing on the frontiers of Maple Forest, the perfect place to build your first park from the ground up. Easygoing guests, relaxed weather, what more could you ask for? Oh indeed. And the scenario, so this is what it didn't have before but it has now in the full version of the game, have at least 200 guests in the park at any one point, okay we can do that, and the optional goal, complete all the non-optional goals, so get 200 guests in your park by the end of December year one. Now, I think we start in January, so that gives us a full year. So within one year, get 200 guests in our park at any point. But if you don't do it, it's optional. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It doesn't matter. So yeah, let's give this a go. Let's play ourselves some Parkitect. Okay, and the game loads, and we have a little bit in here, which just confirms our goals. And also, we've got the price. It's got the entry price that we are charging to get in. To the park and currently it is at one dollar i mean that is an excellent price hang on let's just pause it because i guess we're paying wages to these people and there's nobody coming into the park yet so one dollar one dollar to get into a theme park that is an absolute bargain so let's take a look at what we've got shall we so this is the park space that we've been allocated for this first sort of uh, campaign level it looks quite big so i guess it's the fenced off area which is very very lovely and then we've got ourselves We've got ourselves a path, which you know, is nice, a nice path, they've given us a free path, that's lovely. It's got some benches and some bins and some lights on it, which is fine. And then if we rotate it round, oh, that's kind of the wrong way, but never mind. Rotate it round this way, we've got ourselves, that's a staff room. So the staff can go in there and have a break. And this, I think, is kind of the uh, deliveries and sort of maintenance area. So deliveries will be delivered through the front door here. I believe, anyway, uh, they'll get into there and then uh, they'll, the people that need to pick up the deliveries, the staff in the park, can then go into here and use this path. So paths with lines through the middle of them are staff only paths. So pedestrians, normal folk, paying customers would not be able to go down here, but the staff can use these paths. Okay, so what we need to do really, I mean, I mean, you know, people might come for the path. Path simulator is a very, it's a very popular path, but I think we might need to get some rides. We might need some rides for people to come and ride on and have fun. So there's a variety of different rides. And I don't know what we've got in unlocked in this version. So let's have a little look at what we've got on the particular campaign level. We've got some calm rides, which is nice. Uh, carousels, ferris wheels, spiral slides, teacups, kind of like fairground sort of things. Then we've got ourselves thrill rides, the stuff that I just don't go on yet. These things all look horrendous, all those things. We've got some roller coasters. We've got ourselves a little sort of transport ride and a water ride. Ah, a little calm river ride. Oh, I like that. That's quite nice. What I think we're going to do, I think up here 
in this, let's move that out the way. Move out the way, away with you. In this corner here, let's have a little fairgroundy bit. So we'll have the um, we'll have the teacups and we'll have the carousel. That can all go there. And then over here, we'll have a little sort of bit where it can be more facilities and shops and food and stuff. So people can walk past the food on the way in and they can walk past the food in the shops on the way out. And you know, that might be a good sort of cash earner thing for us. And you know, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of them having a little sort of street they can walk down on this side and, you know, find find nice things to eat and buy. And basically, we're just going to shove merchandise at them. Merchandise and overpriced food. Hooray! It truly is the theme park. So let's get some rides in first. So we're going to go to paths. We can pick this path because it's a dirt path. And let's just drag that all the way up to that corner. Pretty much just there. So 10 tiles is like that. Ooh! Oh, the trees just did a wibble. The trees just did a wibble. Hang on, if we create another 10 that way, is it going to wibble again? Wibble. <laughs> I like the wibble. That's very exciting. I like that. Right, and we'll sort the end of the path out when we've got the rides in. So ride number one. People are going to come in through the door. What do we want them to see? I think the teacups. The teacups are a good thing to have on the way in. So we place the teacups. Now everything is it's lovely, it's really customizable. We'll have a look as we go in. So we'll put the teacups down here. So this is where they are going to sit. And now we have to put a way into the teacups. So an entrance and an exit. So let's put the entrance there. And that's a good point to enter. And let's put the exit just there. So now no one can get on this ride currently because they are not connected to the path network. So we need to make sure that they can actually use these paths. So let's drag that down to there. So that correctly sort of works out. It goes, ah, yes, you've connected the path to the path network. There you go. I'll twiddle that round. Also, it's changed the um, the ground underneath the ride, which is quite nice to the path that we've connected it to. That's quite clever. Now, what we can do as well, we can do, where were they? It's in here somewhere. There. There, there, there. So what we can do is we can put down a sign just here that stops people walking up this way because this is the way out there's no point in anybody walking up this way because that's pointless they're not going to know to go anywhere so we can put a sign here to stop people going that way so let's grab ourselves this path sign so if we do that also hang on a moment if we go to there we can change the colors of this so let's have that and not brown but yellow i think you know where i'm going with this it's geek cupboard colours. And that is saying, you can only go that way, please. So only go that way. No entry for guests. So no guests go that way. And I think you can change the um, the words. Yeah, so if you put staff only, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, it will say that on the little screen. When we play the game, that will start spooling past, which is very lovely. I do like that. It's a nice little touch. Now, the teacups, we need to make sure people can get in. Because currently... People can get out, but no one can get in. And to do that, we have to create a queue, which are these things. So there's three types of sort of queue path. There's a round looking queue. There's a square looking one, or there's a square looking one, a diamondy looking one. I quite like the round one. And what we can do again, we can change the colors. And I think we can drop the colors from something else as well. So if we, yes. Oh, that is very slick. That is very good. So we need to connect this up. We need to make a path. So if we go to there and then draw this round, that is lovely. And then because it's now uh, sort of linked to a path, it knows that that's the way in. So the queue will spool along there and then people can go in here, go on the ride and then they can get off there. But also you can customize the rides as well. There's so much customization. There's so much stuff that goes on in this game. There is an awful lot. So if we go to here, you can change the appearance of the ride. So you can change the colours. You can change music that goes with the ride so it can play its own music. There's all the maintenance stuff. So you, know, you can say how often they go and uh, maintain it. Then there's the operation of it. So you can say the minimum waiting time is five seconds. The maximum waiting time is 30 seconds. So if 30 seconds has gone by, start it. Whatever the queue's like, start that after 30 seconds. And then also you can do how many rounds it goes. So I'm just going to notch that down to four rounds so i've knocked a round off so that will finish quicker so technically cues will go quicker through this particular ride so let's change the colors of this shall we let's make this let's make joe you know what if they come in let's make this look geek cupboardy as well there we go and i'll keep the other can we have white on there yeah that looks quite good what about white and white oh that looks terrible how about a darker color yeah like that i like that 
That looks very good. Oh, that looks tremendous. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's very good. And now we've got a little bit of a, a thing up here. We've got a gap up here. There's a space. So in here, there's, there's so much stuff. There's all sorts of decoration that we can put in here. So there's logs and tree stumps and vines, planters, bulrushes, there's mushrooms, and there's, there's so much stuff. Topiary trees, a blobby tree. Oh, I am having a blobby tree. Oh, look at that. That is a massive blobby tree. Now, all of these things, all of these things add to the sort of the immersion, if you like, and the experience that people are having when they're going around the park, which I do like. I like all these dead trees. So you can decorate your kind of your haunted kind of uh, house area. Uh, maple trees. You've got palm trees for tropical things. Oh, this is excellent. Right. Let's put some stuff along here then. Let's put some nice stuff along here. So can we get ourselves... I just want a kind of wall of a wall of nice flowers because no one wants to see that fence. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we need to get some trees. Uh, topiary trees might be quite nice. Let's get some topiary trees and put them along. Oh, they're tiny. No, no, we need some bigger trees than that. That'll do. Some small fir trees. That should sort of cover the the edge up as much as we need it to. So you can do this. So you know you can plot these along, and it's all oh oh. Okay, maybe I'm over. I'm sort of doing them too too close to each other. Am I? Okay, it's got to be blue when I place it, or the other one pops out of existence. Okay, fine. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. No, location's already occupied. Apparently, uh, just there. And in that corner, let's put something interesting. Let's put. How about a rock? Yeah, let's put a rock. And then we'll get a different rock. Oh, that's a oh, that's a huge rock. That's lovely. And then I did see some mushrooms somewhere around. So then can we just put little teeny mushroom in the corner? Oh, that's true. Look at that. So you can customize it to that degree. <laughs> you can customize it to that degree. And I think, um, I think, yeah, you can raise things. So if I want to put a mushroom on top of the rock, you can do so as well. It just grows out the top. It's brilliant. Oh, that's very good. So we've got ourselves a ride in. We've got ourselves a little parade of trees. Just, you know, some people can't see the fence because you don't want to see that. You want to be immersed. Let's get another ride in. Uh, the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel will fit quite nicely in this gap if I turn it round. In the corner, there's a little helpful thing saying, yay, this is how you control this. So let's put that... Let's put that in the middle. Let's put that there. I think that's probably a good plan. Yeah, if we put that there, and then the way in can go... Uh, there, up the top end, and the way out can just go straight out onto the path. That kind of makes sense. And then we need a queue. So we get ourselves, that's the wrong button, get ourselves a queue going down to say there. People can join here, and they can go and get on the queue and then go round. We'll put something in there. That's a bit empty at the moment. How about a lovely, there's some flowers. Yeah, flower box. Pop a little flower box in there. Oh, that's very pretty. And one there as well. And we need something for people to look at as we go round the, um, the, on the wheel. So how about we find some other things to put down? Tulip patches. Yeah, let's put loads of them along. Oh, that's lovely. Now, what I don't know is, do people need to go and water these? I've got no idea. I have no idea at all. Uh, we can put some logs in, though. A little log there. And a log at that end. What else can we put in here? Oh, you could be here forever. A little tree stump, because it's like a little natural area sort of thing. Um, uh, bulrushes, window, ivy, long grass. Oh, look at that teeny tiny bit of long grass. You can rotate it right. Ah, oh, so much attention to detail. Shrubs. Um, that's quite big. That's a big shrub. Have we got a smaller shrub? Yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There we go. Made a little sort of green air for people to go and see. That is very nice. Okay, now I think we go and get ourselves... Let's go and get ourselves a sort of uh, an area over here where we can have shops and things. So if we get this, I think we bring the path maybe down here like that. And then we bring it down like this. And then I want a little sort of square in the middle. Have we got like a fountain or something? Can we have a fa fountains? Yes. $50 for a fountain. That is a bargain. Jumping fountains. Oh, they're coming out the floor. Oh, that's exciting. No, I don't want one of those right now. Uh, yeah, let's put a fountain there. And then I want kind of an area around the fountain. 
to be all nice. So that can just be all paths like that. Look, you can go round the fountain and then we'll connect that up via another gap of two. So say to there and then down to there and down to there. And then we'll have bits going to the middle like that. Look, it's like it's like I almost know what I'm doing. <laughs> Heaven forbid. No, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Don't worry, everybody. So that's in there. See, already I just made it go weird. I don't know what I did just there, but I made it go weird. Uh, and now we can put in a few of these things. There's park utilities. Oh, no, it's not those one. It's shops. Lovely shops. Okay, so right now we don't have a choice of all of the things. We've got burgers, fruit juices, pretzels, and of course, some toilets. So let's put the toilets in. Let's try and keep the toilets out of the way. Let's put them over there. Uh, okay, hang on a moment. I'd like to buy multiple. I assume, is it shift to buy multiple? No, it's not. Okay, there must be a button to buy multiple, but there you go. I don't know what it is. So we'll put three toilets in. And then over this side, let's have uh, burgers there. Very nice. That's going to need some resources. Then fruit juices can go next door. And then pretzels can go next door to that. So they've got a nice place to go there and get stuff. And then... What we want is, we want this path, this employee path, to be able to go onto the edge of here. So really, we could do with that going away. We could do with that going away. How do we... Right, hang on. How do we get rid of the thing? Get rid of that. Yes, please. Obliterate that. There we go. And now the path can come through as we need it. So that means that the employees can walk from there to there and then stock these things up fairly quickly, which is very good. So yeah, we've got a little sort of little nice area. How about in here we get some stuff down? So we put down like plants and flowers and things. Let's have a few flower patches around the edge like that. Looks very pretty. I realise I'm making a theme park. I've not actually got many rides going on in the theme park right now. Possibly do need to look at that. Um, some more logs. Quite like the idea of the logs sort of going there and there. And there and there. That's quite nice. Uh, flower vines. Uh, hang on, rotate. Oh, they go on the side of the buildings. <laughs> right, that's a good idea. Put them on the side of the toilets. Because nobody really wants to see the toilets, do they? Let's be honest. And then let's try and hide the toilets behind something else. So, uh, what is there? What's big? Props. What's props? Paper lanterns, entrance booth, light clock. Oh, a clock on the corner by the fountain. <gasps> yes. Okay. <laughs> I like all this stuff. Oh, I like all this stuff a lot. Map boards. Oh, this is just this is just beautiful. Yeah, we'll have a map board. Maybe not there actually. How about a map board there? Oh, this is this is just lovely. Right, and one there as well, maybe. I just map boards everywhere. All the lovely things all over the place. A plane? You can put a plane down. <laughs> Right, we're doing that. We're putting a plane down. We're absolutely dropping a plane in. That can be a feature. Come and look at the lovely plane. Oh, it's a golden plane. <laughs> golden plane. Brilliant. Okay, right, hang on. Uh, let's try and cover this thing up. Archways. A hedge archway. I don't want a hedge archway. Can we have hedge archways going into the, the nice relaxing area? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, look at this. This <laughs> This is brilliant. This is really good. I've got this whole little area. Okay, we need to hide the toilets. And then I possibly need to open and like, let people come in. Um, right. Uh, trees. Trees might be a good thing. Birch trees. They're quite nice. They, they might hide. That might hide the toilet quite nicely. We'll rotate them around so they're a bit different. So like that look. That might hide the fact that there's toilets there. So that doesn't look quite so bad. Uh, we want to put something. In fact, no, we don't really want to put much down there. Because that is going to be how they get restocked. So we can leave that there. Got a little space here. There we go. Just made it into a nice little sort of nature area. I do like that. Right. Who have we got employed? So staff management. We have ourselves a janitor. We have a hauler. Now the hauler is the person that actually goes and grabs the goods from the storage area and gives them to the uh, shops and stuff. So that's good. We've got a mechanic. We haven't got security and we haven't got an entertainer. I would quite like an entertainer. So somebody wanders about and makes everybody smile and laugh and giggle. Let's get ourselves oh, a robot. Absolutely. Can we hire a robot man, please? Yes, please. And I think it's time that we opened up right now. And we'll get ourselves some guests coming in. We'll get some money. So let's set that to open. We'll set that to open. Uh, it costs 150 to go on that and 150 to go on that. So they're paying per ride. 
Um, let's knock that. Yeah, 150 is quite a nice price, actually. 150 is quite a nice, even price. Right, let's move time on. Let's see who comes in. So the path goes that way. Uh, I'm, okay, wow. <laughs> okay, the path to get in is quite long, but there are people coming in. There are people coming in. One, two, three, four. Right, we, we, we're kind of almost there. We've got six people and, and it's all fine so far. Oh, I like this little area. I like that a lot. So we need the hauler. Uh, where is the hauler? I quite know what the hauler looks like. Is that you? Are you the hauler? Yeah, you're the hauler. Alfredo Lovell is going to go over here. Now, Alfredo should... Uh, is it two and three for speed? Yep. Yeah. So he's going to grab these things here. These are the goods. These are the goods that need to go into these to stock them up. So if we look here, pretzels need pretzels. And, and that's it, in fact. That's all they need. Oh, okay, fine. Which one? One of the burger things needed quite a lot. So they need fries and burgers. So they need fries and burgers. They need more things. So hang on. So why isn't pretzels open? It says it needs stock. Uh, ah, it needs pretzels and salt. Is that what that needs? So in stock, there are no pretzels. So the salt is in there. <laughs> so the pretzel shack just sells salt right now. Mmm, delicious. So yeah, so they're on their way. Now I assume that's what this is. I assume... He's going to deliver that. And the little door opens. And is there somebody inside? There is. I think I can see someone's arm inside. Now, the angle... I don't know if you can get the angle any lower than this. I don't know if you can get the angle to sort of ground level or anything. I don't think you can. But there we go. Look, you're stocking that up. What does the fruit juice place need? Um, cups, sugar, and fruit. So in there, it's just sugar. So one of the places was selling salt. The other one was selling sugar. <laughs> Brilliant. Come to the theme park and make yourself very, very ill. Okay, but this is good. This is looking really nice. Teacups there. Right, let's get ourselves some other rides in. Because although we do have 30 people, we could do with getting more people. Let's get some more people in. So let's drag the path along that way. Now I am tempted to just run a path right down the middle so people can just come straight down. People can just come right down here. Do you know what I do need to do as well? I do need to put in some benches. Some benches would be quite nice, particularly around this area. Let's get those let's just put a few benches around here so people can sit and enjoy the weather <laughs> okay okay people might not be enjoying this weather but that's fine <laughs> oh you knew what i was gonna say game you cottoned on to my plan there yeah okay i was gonna say people can sit and enjoy the weather it's lovely out but no 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 of course not i couldn't say that right also trash bins let's get a few of these around because we don't want the park to be a mess so put that there, we'll put one there, uh, rotate it round, let's put one there. I like that they snap, they snap quite nicely to the edge of the path. That is very encouraging, I do like that. Uh, and there's one there, isn't there? Let's put one opposite the middle thing, let's put one opposite the drinks place. And then that means that, you know, if people have litter from these, they can just go put it straight in the trash. Okay, right, rides... We need some more rides, I think. I don't think the teacups and a Ferris wheel is going to bring in 200 people. Not quite. So let's get ourselves a carousel because that is a guaranteed, <laughs> that's a guaranteed winner there. So let's get that there again on the edge, and then we'll put the queue. Yeah, maybe like we did last time. Let's put the queue up there and the queue out going there. And we'll get ourselves the path leading out like that, which is nice. Uh, we do need one of those things as well. We need one of those. Good if we could copy that at some point. What is that? The brush. The brush just picks up the style. Okay, there's not an actual copy thing to go and copy an item. Okay, that's fine. Well, um, let's get it switched on first. Let's get it switched on and working. So let's create the queue. So the queue can go like this. It can go around like that. And to there. So that's lovely. So now let's switch it on and say, yes, it's open. It's 1.50 ago. Have fun, everyone. Fill your boots. It's lovely here. It's a carousel. Um, what else do we need? Let's spin that round and get ourselves a path. Might rejoin there. That might be quite a good idea. Bit of nothingness over here right now, but that's fine. We can, we can, fill, we can fill these spaces up. It's all good. So the last thing we need to make this good, is the spiral slide. That could go uh, there. Why not? Let's have it go in... Actually, we'll put it in the middle there. 
rotate that round. The way in could be just there, and the way out can be just there. And they can get out instantly and go back on the path, which is fine. And then the queue just here. Negative recent negative news decrease the interest in theme parks. Your part will see a decrease in visitors for a time. Oh, good. Well, that will help. Given that my whole goal is to get a, a certain amount of visitors, that will be helpful. Oh, good. Right, so we'll do that. Also, do you know what? Let's open this. Open the ride. Bing. And let's change the colours of this, shall we? I think we know where we're going with this. In fact, can we can we drop them? Can we drop them from that? Oh, that is very cool indeed. I love the way you can just pick them. You can just drop the colours from anything else. So if we wanted to add a splash of red. Oh, red around the doors. Okay, that's fine. And then this thing. So can we do the same with that? Just go, okay, yeah, the ride colours. Drip a drop. That thing. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's very good. But in there, let's have... Instead of that colour. Like, what if we did purple? Or red? I can't see what's changing there. Maybe nothing changes there. Maybe they're the colours that you can change. But that looks that looks great. I like that. Oh, loads of people are on that. People are loving that thing. That's tremendous. Okay, so we're not making a profit at the minute. We're minus 240. No, so overall, we're making a loss of minus 180. But obviously it's going up. As everyone goes on a ride, the money that we're getting is increasing, which is good. That is good news. So now maybe we need to look at putting in some more extreme rides. I think it's time for these terrifying sounding things to go in. The Gravitron, the Twister, and Wipeout. Oh, no, thank you. So, Wipeout. Let's put one of the... Let's just put them in along here. We'll have a... We'll have, like, Terror Road or something. This whole bit along here can just be terrifying, terrifying rides. So let's go there. We'll put the way in just there. The way out can kind of go... Maybe there which is fine. Then we need to get ourselves paths again, and that will change the base of the thing. Lovely. Right, Q. We've got the right Q thing. So we'll just draw the Q round like this for now. So that's fine. Um, in terms of the wipeout, let's change the ride colours to that. I think you know what's coming with that, which is very cool. And then let's... Oh, hang on. Let's switch it on. Let's, let's actually activate that. So, yep, that is open. And away it goes. Now, who's going to come on this? What did it do? Oh, that's just horrendous. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> not going on that. Now, yeah, you can say that it gets four rounds. Let's knock that out to three rounds. Because this looks quite busy. This looks like it might be quite busy. So let's knock that down to three rounds. And that means it'll move the queue through a little bit quicker. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. Now, what we might want to do is there is a shortage supply of cups. Increasing prices by 31%. Well, my goodness. My goodness, how are we going to cope with a shortage of cups? Truly, the end times are upon us. Okay, let's get ourselves another one of these then. Let's get the twister. We'll put that exactly next door. This can be like scary road or something. This can be all terrible. In fact, can we change the path? Can we change the path? What's that? Wood. I don't really want wood. Um, gravel. Metal. Yeah. Metal. Can we overwrite it with metal? No. It doesn't seem we can. Once it's in, it's in. Is that, is that the rule? Um, yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, oh, all right, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that, that made it go a bit weird. But if we do this really quickly and then just go, whoop, there you go. Metal. So this is the world of horror and it is all metally and terrifying. So yeah, so we'll have a bit going up. Hang on, we could have one of the rides over there, couldn't we? Let's get the terrifying ride number two. Let's get Twister, uh, which is not the board game, I don't believe. Let's put that there. So the way in can be there and the way out can be there. And then we'll just grab the path. We'll put the metal thing there. And then the queue can go like that. Again, round like this. And is this the best way to the queues? I don't know. It seems to make sense to me. It seems to make sense to me. No, don't put a queue in the middle there, you spoon. Do that. So switch that on. And uh, colour wise, yep, yeah, we know where this is going. Bing! It's lovely. It's geek covered corporate blue. Uh, we didn't do this, did we? We didn't geek coveredify this. Although, to be fair, it's not too far removed. But uh, we'll make it proper. Lovely. <laughs> do like that. It looks great. And look, it's all just ticking over quite nicely. It's all just sort of running very nicely indeed. Uh, right, we've got one more terrifying ride to throw in. Let's add in the uh, Gravitron. 
Guests ride inside a capsule that spins at high speeds, pushing them against the wall. Why would you want to do this? Why would you do this yourselves? You weird adrenaline junkie people. Just go and have a cup of tea. What's wrong with you? Um, okay, let's put that. Um, I might put that round here. Let's tuck that away in this corner. Uh, like there would be... Ah, oh, it's not quite right because then I want the queue to be too wide. But then the entry thing is going to have to be next to the gate, uh, next to the fence. I don't really want that. No, we can't have it kind of how I like it. Let's do that. The way in can go there. The way out can go there. And we'll get ourselves some more path like so. And then a queue can go, if we spin it round, can go like this. So like all the other queues. And we know exactly what we're going to do with the style. So let's change that. A group of vandals is roaming the park. I don't think that's a very good sign, is it? Um, we possibly need to sort that out. It did say hire more security. Uh, staff management, security. Oh, we don't have anyone. Oh, oh, right. Okay, that's probably a bad thing. Uh, let's drop security in. Are you going to go and do security in? Can you go and deal with them, please? I don't really want vandals. So what have they been vandalizing? They better not touch my airplane. They better not touch my plane or I'm going to be really angry. Recent negative news decreased the interest in theme parks. Again, are you trying to make this super challenging? So I've got a group of vandals roaming around ripping stuff apart and I've got no interest in theme parks going on. I mean, as a first challenge goes in the campaign mode, it's pretty tough. What I was looking at was these teacups don't really have a kind of, they're not covered. They're not covered. Some of the rides don't warrant being covered because they spin around. Like this is quite, you know, I wouldn't want to put a roof over this. And these things sort of spin around. But the teacups, whenever I think about places, you know, if I go to theme parks, the teacups are often kind of covered up. They're often got a little roof on them, like a structure. So I thought, well, what if, can we do that? Can we build a structure over these? So I think we can put down these pillars, look. We can put these pillars down in the corner and we can make our own little sort of our own roof, almost, which is quite exciting. I like the idea of doing this. So if we do that, and the art deco bit, well, this bit here, so decorations in structures, there's all sorts of things. So there's different sort of pillars and what have you, like cornice peaks and stuff like that. So a flat cornice. I, mean, I don't really know what a cornice is, but it snaps to there quite nicely. So if we raise that up, so if we put that there, look, so that's a, that's a cornice. So that looks like, to me, that looks like a, a bit of wall. Oh, that's not quite... That's not quite how I want that. That's sticking over a bit much for me. Hang on. Right. Come out of that, then. So go, okay, we don't need that anymore. Can we move... How do we go about moving something? How do we select that and then move it? I'm not... I don't know. Hang on. Let's see if we can move this thing. A TV program had a segment about carousels. The ride will have an increase in customers for a time. Oh, that's quite nice. That's good then. So the carousel will at least be doing something. I don't know how to select a thing. I don't know how to select something once we've we've placed it. I'm not entirely sure how we can do this. Do we have to bulldoze it and start again? Oh no, one of our rides is broken. One of the rides is broken. The twister is broken. Which is the twister? Is it that one? The restraints are stuck open. Now we do have a mechanic. I think we do have a mechanic somewhere along the way. Yeah, there you go. So is someone going to come over and mend it? Now I'm going to check. Do we have a mechanic? Yes, we have a mechanic wandering around. That's probably not the best place. Uh, right, we can pick you up, I believe. Can you go and mend this? Can you... Uh, oh, is that the way you mend it? Oh, no, here. Oh, look, there's a little control box which has got sparks come out of it. That's it. Whack it with a hammer. Yay, we've mended the ride. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> well done, mechanic. Okay, so I've built some sort of walls around the edge. Which I do quite like. They've got lots of windows in. So people can look out of those. But now I kind of want to get a roof in. I don't quite know how to do this in terms of a roof. Half curve, a wall, half wall, a slope. Um, that doesn't, no, that doesn't really do it. I want it to go like to a point in the middle. I need like angled wall sections or something. If that's even a thing that we can have. I don't know if I'm just making this up. Actually, it's more of a roof than anything else. Isn't it? Ah, there sloped roof uh yeah metal there there half of a roof peak or a full roof oh yeah like this um that is going on the edge there and that was oh, glass that's very good it's very exciting right we'll have that and that so that oh no they're in the wrong place they're in 
They're, hang on, what? Uh, they've, they've gone on the floor. They've gone on... Oh, they've got... Yeah, okay, that hasn't worked quite as I thought. That's not really in the right place. Well, well right, hang on, hang on. <laughs> bulldoze that and that. Yes, please. Bulldoze. Get the bulldozer out. Bulldoze that and that. Yes, please. Of course, it hasn't snapped to the right height. Hang on. Hang on. Right, raise it up uh, to about... I think that's about right. I think that is about right. Um, it's really... Do you know what it is? It's really... I'm not sure I want to remove it. What? No. It's really hard to try and get a figure on height. There. So if we go yes, yes, rotate, yes, yes, rotate, yes, yes, rotate, yes, and yes. Right. Is there a corner piece? Is there a corner that we can do? Roof corner. Roof co Yes. Okay. Right. Is it the right height? Don't think it is. What kind of... Which way round is the corner going? It's... Uh, I can't really work out what that's doing. Now, that's not a point. That's not a point. A sloped corner, though, is it? Roof corner slope. There we go. Right. So now we can make the corner go up. That tree's in the way. So now if we raise that up like that. Wipeout is broken. Oh, they'll sort it. I'm sure they'll fix it. Right. And that's a corner section. Is that on the right bit of the corner? Well, that's taller than the other bits. That's taller than the other sections. <laughs> oh, what? That's too. That's too pointy. It that doesn't match the other sections that we were doing, does it? Oh, do we want a half slope? Oh, this is very confusing. That's a roof. What did we have? That we had that before. So a roof corner. We want a raised roof corner that's pointing upward. Oh, I don't understand what this is at all. Roof corner. Uh, let's see if we can raise that up a bit. I think we're on five is the height that we're at. Uh, no, that, that seems to be in the sky. Down, 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 down. Right, rotate that round so it's like... What an earth corner shape is this? Ah, my brain can't cope with this. Okay, no, I've been beaten. I've been thwarted by the roof segments. I can't get that to kind of link up with those. They're at the wrong angle. So this is a corner piece. It's a corner piece, and that's fine. But it seems to be at the wrong angle to the other corner pieces. It seems to be too high. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that I've decided to use glass. The lovely translucent see-through material of glass, which makes it very difficult to see things. But look, that, there's a hole. So these need to be kind of elevated up a bit more. They need to be sort of tilted upwards a bit more, which I don't think you can do. So I'm not entirely sure how to make corner bits of these. So we'll, I'll have a play. I'll see if I can work it out. I'm not entirely sure how that works but i think we'll leave it there for now so for our first little go we've got something that is set up and it looks i think it looks quite nice i think it looks quite nice i mean some bits of it maybe a bit slapdash i'm particularly proud of our little area just here i like this place this is very good it's where you come to chill out you get your food you go to the loo you can look at a big golden plane for some reason and there's a little rock area there and there's a fountain in the middle there's a clock it looks very good here's kind of traditional sort of fairground stuff could do we put something over here? Maybe. Maybe we'll put another couple of those drink stall things over there, possibly. That might be useful. Might be useful because there's a thing there saying that I was uh, people were thirsty. So, um, yeah, we might populate that out a bit. Put something in here, some fun things in here. And then we've got into the terrifying metal world of scary land. <laughs> the place that I don't want to go to with all the spinny, terrifying rides. So next time, what have we got? 118 people in the park. So I think next time... Maybe we need to go down the route of roller coasters. That is the last thing that we need, really. And I think that'll bring things in. So we've got mini coasters or we've got spinning coasters. So it says they're a small, slow coaster that can't go very high. Great for those who prefer low intensities but will bore others. And that is pretty much the same apart from it spins. So I think next time out we'll have some fun with the actual roller coaster aspects. We've got all the sort of static things in. We've got the static bits in, which is fine. That's good. We've got these things in. They're all looking good. It all looks great. I need to finish the roof of that, but never mind. We won't look at that. It's fine. We'll move away from that. But um, yeah, I think next time, yeah, go for roller coasters. And the roller coasters are built. It's quite nice the way they're constructed. Uh, you kind of build them track piece by track piece. You control the elevations and the angles and all that kind of stuff. It's all very, very lovely. So I think, I think that's what we'll do next time. Are you a vandal? Are you a vandal? Or are you the security? Are you the security person? Oh, look, you're a vandal. So you're a vandal. Have you been told to leave the park? Oh, you're very trusting. 
Oh, there you go, and off you go. <laughs> you vandal, leave the park. Okay, I will leave the park. You ju you just go and deal with the other vandals. I will certainly leave. That is very trusting of you, Mr. Security Man. But well done, you got rid of him. So there we go. So yeah, that's Parkitect. I hope you did enjoy this. We're going to uh, come back to this at least a couple of times. Just have a little nosy and just see what's going on. And if it proves to be popular, maybe we'll have a kind of little mini series uh, where I design a park on the sort of the free place or more sandbox mode rather than the campaign stuff. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think. If you did enjoy this, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. <laughs>